So here I was. I made an entire video comparing the EOS R5 to the EOS R5C because recently I uploaded a video where I said that I retired the EOS R5 for video production because of all the little shortcomings when it came to video. But then Canon came in and came to the rescue, releasing the EOS R5, seemingly fixing almost all of the problems that the EOS R5 had when it came to shooting video. So I finished the video, I already uploaded it. Of course, I talked a little bit about the missing IBIS and that is something that bothered a lot of you guys. For me personally, it's not that big of an issue. I never use IBIS on any of my other cine cameras. So that's not necessarily the cripple hammer that a lot of people thought it was. But then after already uploading the video and publishing everything, the actual cripple hammer hit. And it is, the autofocus is not the same. When you look into the specs on the official Canon side and compare the C70, the R5 and the EOS R5C, you can clearly see that the C70 and the EOS R5C have the dual pixel autofocus one, whereas the EOS R5 has the two. So that is why the EOS R5's autofocus is so much better than the one on the Canon C70. So one of the main reasons for taking the EOS R5C over the Canon C70 was that it has better autofocus. Well, think again, because the EOS R5C shares the exact same autofocus as does the Canon C70. You do get the dual pixel two autofocus when using the EOS R5C in photography, However, you do not when shooting video, which makes absolutely no sense because this camera is video focused. So you do get the good autofocus when shooting pictures, not when shooting video. And that couldn't be any more like Canon if they tried. <sighs> I wasn't really sure if I was to replace my EOS R5 with the R5C because again, they fixed a lot of the shortcomings and I made a full video about this. But now I'm probably just saving my money and sticking to the original EOS R5 because again, the IBIS didn't really bother me that much, but having worse autofocus than before is just a trade-off that I'm not willing to make because again, the autofocus of the EOS R5 is one of the biggest selling points. And with that out of the way, I can just still shoot with my Canon C70 in basically every situation. That was it. Unfortunately, I don't have any better news and I just came here with this video, but maybe somebody didn't see that and ordered the EOS R5C already started selling their old EOS R5. So maybe after watching this video, you might think again. I definitely did. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any better news. I still hope you found that video informative. And if you did, then please give it a thumbs up because it really helps the channel grow. Subscribe for more because there will still be a lot more content about the EOS R5C and other Canon cameras in the near future. And I hope to see you on the next one.